Hello Revolutionary Freedom Fighters, I'm King Link and this is my last look and review at Just Cause 3. Now this is the first game of my Humble Monthly Bundle of January 2019. We have Just Cause 3, Project Cars 2, and Wizards of Legend to look at this month. You know, it's not a bad lineup. I'll be bringing you some high octane destruction here on the screen and taking over a few enemy bases. I'm going to try to avoid any missions so you can watch the video without worrying about spoilers. Not that there are that many in this game in the first place. But if you enjoyed this review, consider subscribing. I appreciate it and you'll be helping out a really swell guy. It's also the only form of payment I ask for. If you want to ring the bell to be notified of my new videos, you can do that as well. With that said, let's dig in. So, check the screen if you want, but the graphics here are pretty good. Now, admittedly, my graphics settings are a bit low here, and I'll get to that in a bit, but the gra game does look good on these uh, settings. It's a beautiful backdrop for all the destruction going on. Now, so much of the game is actually based on verticality being thrown up in the air, and the game embraces that, allowing you to see for miles in any direction. There's a decent amount of detail in the world, though admittedly many locations do feel carbon copies of others. The fact is, the graphics please me, especially when you throw in the destruction on top of everything. And you'll be seeing a bit of that here. Now the story in the game is weak. There are great story missions where your character has to fight forces, blow up tanks, and take out various enemies and installations. But the story is mostly forgettable in the wrong run. You have a villain named uh, Sebastiano Di Ravello and a country called Medici, where our main character Rico Rodriguez has to fight to free the people. You know, I actually had to look up the main villain's name and misspelled the uh, country's name because, honestly, it's not really important to the real game. Of course, it doesn't help that Rico Rodriguez is freeing his country by pretty much shooting and blowing up everything. He's a CIA agent who's going almost undercover here. And, you know, don't get me wrong, the gameplay is fine for the explosions and destruction, but thematically, it's all about destruction while being a freedom fighter, and it feels very much like an imperialistic uh, power fantasy. Not that there's anything wrong with that for the game, it's just, it's not a very good story. And really, the story here is a backdrop to give you reasons to do very cool stuff. That cool stuff though, ooh wee, that's where the fun really is here. You're watching me blow up stuff left and right, and that's what the game really is about. Even in missions where you're fighting to save people, it's really just a coding on a reason to blow up vehicles or similar. Now, Just Cause 2 actually tried to have the uh, player fight the enemy a bit more, and the fact is, Just Cause 3 does this better. This is, a this is actually far better in my opinion. Destruction is the key to this game, and it's what the story keeps relying on. Now, I mentioned in my written review, but the voice of Medici it, that we hear is actually David Tennant. I don't believe there's any in this video, but there is some in the original um, first look. And it's kind of a cool feature for David Tennant to be here. Especially because there's pieces of the game that make it seem like it's actually David Tennant playing himself, not just voice acting a random character. So there's a really cool cameo going on. But it's a minor note in the long run, and it doesn't really improve the story that much, but I think it's cool enough that I did have to call it out. So, let's get to the heart of the game here. You've been watching me blow up stuff left and right, and the fact is, it's just fun. Just Cause 3 is simply a destruction playground, and here I am playing in it. I have a blast with this game, pun intended, of course. This is a pure imperialistic power fantasy, but it's also so much fun to bring carnage to random locations and blow up as much as you can. I'm going to try to use a variety of attacks here. I'm going to be using my tether at some point. The tether is one of the big keys to success here for the game. You can use the tether as a zip line to almost any point, and you'll see me do that, but you also can tether between two points. That's effective when someone is driving or a helicopter is in the air as you can stick a piece in place. But the real enjoyment comes with the new ability to retract tethers. In the first look, you're going to see me tether uh, explosive barrels into objects. Here, I'll try to destroy some stuff with it, including a few fuel tanks. It might take longer to do it that way, but honestly, I love toying and the admittedly simple physics here just work. They are amazing to do, and it's isolated to a few things, but it's so much fun. In addition, as I move around the level, we're going to be seeing the parachute and the wingsuit 
quite often. Now, more on them in the written review, of course, but God, both of these are glorious fun to play with. Just doing it for this uh, video is amazing, especially the wingsuit, which is both uh, freedom and danger and, man, a lot of fun, all rolled into one big, simple mechanic. Throw in the tether, and all of a sudden, you're able to fly for miles, pulling yourself up with the wingsuit, and I really do quite often. Now, like I said, almost everything here is about destruction, but there's so many, so many ways to pull it off. You can grab a tank, blast targets, and people, of course. You can bring your own armaments like machine guns, rocket launchers, grenades, or just tether and throw explosive barrels at uh, objects. It's up to you to decide how to take out the targets, and the thing is, Just Cause 3 really excels here. It's just fun to tackle all these locations and blow up everything you can. Like I said, imperialistic power fantasy, of course. I spent 70 hours on this game the first playthrough, and it was really good. I enjoyed a majority of that time. But this isn't all perfect. In fact, there's a very dark cloud here hanging over the game. While the destruction is fun, the performance of this game is abysmal. It doesn't run stable on consoles, and on PC it requires entirely too much hardware. Even if you dial in good graphic settings, you might still get performance issues, and you might see a couple here. There's still a lot of these performance issues being reported and commented on today, two years after release, and a sequel's already out. And that's a big problem. The game has never been polished to really an acceptable level in my mind, and while my PC is no longer the powerhouse, it's still better than a PlayStation 4. I have it running on the lowest settings because anything higher becomes impossible to play, meaning I'm set at uh, 1280 by 720 which is frightfully low. You might see stuttering here in the video like I said, and you'll definitely see it in my first look, but it's really not acceptable at this level. Now I'm always hesitant to call out performance issues. The thing is, Just Cause 3 has those performance issues to the level that I can say that it's not my hardware. There's enough posts and discussions about it online that I have to call it out. And there's players with excellent hardware still having issues, stuff that really should not be a problem for this game. And man, they make a good game start to suck. When I first played the game a couple years ago, it still had issues, but it I did have one crash about 10 to 15 hours in, which lost my entire progress in the game, as well as a couple more crashes that didn't do that. This time, I played about 15 hours again, and I did have a crash, though it didn't lose my save game progress, but honestly, none of this really should be acceptable. Now, listen, not everyone has these issues, and the fact is the game is still fun even with all of these problems. If you don't have any issues, this game is probably going to be a 4.5 or a 5 on my scale. I absolutely love it, and I think it's incredible. It's excellent. But the thing is, with these issues, it really tarnishes this game. I really hate these performance issues because there's stutters that come up at random times. But I admittedly, I can't hate the game. It's crazy. I still recommend Just Cause 3, but the issues do diminish the experience quite a bit, as I have spent a lot of time trying to perfect the graphic settings, get rid of the stutter, follow people's um, suggestions online that have worked, and the thing is, I still don't have a perfect level. Ultimately, I give Just Cause 3 a 3.5 out of 5. Now, if you're interested in what you see, I do recommend picking it up, especially for the 12 bucks on Humble Monthly Bundle. Um, that includes all the DLC, which was great, though the C DLC, admittedly, I wasn't a huge fan of. But it's worth seeing if the game will work perfectly for you. If it does work, you're going to find a near-perfect game, because Just Cause 3 is so much fun when it works. It's just that it doesn't always work well, and that's what really hurts here. Because I love this game with all my heart, but I can't hold my tongue on the issues that I've had with it. Now, Avalanche Studios... Just Cause is a great franchise, but you need to properly support your consumers and make a great game. Hopefully you're doing better with Just Cause 4, but early reports sound like there's still some bugs there. Please fix all of them, and I think you can have an amazing game. And that's really Just Cause 3. I love playing this game, but I hate playing the game at the same time. That's the reason I started this channel. I wanted to call out games that failed, but also understood when bad games still have amazing qualities behind it. Just Cause 3 is the problem child that aces that test. Now next up, well, what would you do if you could make a racing game any way you wished? We're going to be talking about that when we talk about 
Project Cars 2, options galore. Until then, I am King Link and thank you very much for watching.